Hello, by the way. Uh, welcome to episode... I don't even know what episode we're on. 22! For Piece of Pod. 22? There you go. Uh, we're on episode 22 of Piece of Podcast. Welcome. Uh, we're on episode 69 of One Piece, so... I just decided to start that <laughs> a little earlier. So oh, I'm no! Like, I'm gonna... What? What? Oh, no! What happened? It's just that the way you said it, then you just straight up yawn. <laughs> it's like I didn't yawn. Oh, okay, that was just a sigh. Yeah, I went. <sighs> gotcha. It's not a yawn. Man, we're not Jeez. we're not on sync today. No, we're not. We haven't recorded in a while. Heat's getting to us. Jeez. Oh, you're talking it's... about time again, huh? Talk about time always, and seasons. We always talk about time and seasons. It'd be great when this comes out. In like what the winter? <laughs> yeah, they're like what hot? Huh? Hot? Hot? Yeah. We're hot when, this... when there's snow outside. You're, you're Here we go. Hot. We're recording this currently. No, on... no, don't, don't time us. July. Let, let, let the people guess. Forty seventh at, at the year twenty two eighty of our yep. glorious synthetic god albatross. Exactly. Imagine if Ultron really did rule the world. Uh, would he just let so. humans keep having offspring? Or would he just, like, neuter everybody? That's a great question. I have no idea. A lot of people way. don't like Ultron. That was, like, one of my favorite Marvel movies. I ain't gonna lie. The rest of them are kind of bland. At least Ultron gave, gave us gave some spice. I don't think I've ever actually watched Ultron. Wow, this episode is a harsh contrast to what we were just on. Yep. Oh my goodness. Why does it open with Usopp so much? Usopp's a good character. Those are nice red apples. Oh, you can make some great apple cider with those. That sound effect. Good sound effect. It's it's kind of crazy. It's still kind of crazy to think that only a couple episodes ago, uh, Vivi was trying to hurt them. <laughs> oh yeah, hurt in quotes. Yep. Vivi could barely hurt a fly. And now they're all happy and stuff together. Also, her voice is completely different. She's not acting like a pompous princess. Yep. Sanji, how do you Ooh. make this stuff, bro? <laughs> Sanji, <laughs> not Sanji, there's you, Sop. Uh. Sanji should just wear the shirt and not have the jacket on most of the time. Yeah. Have you, did you read the newer chapter of... Oh, uh, um, I gotta get back to Yeah, I gotta Seki read Deku it. Seki Sanji. I gotta read it. The art in that is so good. So good! It fits the manga to a or not, I mean, it, it just fits the story to a T how it looks. Yep. If they were going to do anything, they should have adopted that. Oh, look at style. that. It's the, um, uh. I mean, it's like, it's like a whale, basically. Yeah, that's for the, like, the, the shower and stuff. Because I remember we were talking about the shower. You were like, does the shower have significance? Does that shower come up at all? That's like the closest thing to the shower coming up. It was for the girls, basically. Yep. Man. Where would they be at to have the water drain out when they're showering, though? I don't want to think about it. I don't want people to think I'm like... The shower would probably drain into the ocean. But, like, do, do they just stand in that room and bathe? Probably. Not in that room. No, 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 no. They have a different room specifically for the shower, and then if you want hot water, or if you want water coming in specifically into the shower, then I think you would use that. I think that just... Yeah, it just brings in water. Okay. I'll, I trust you. I don't... I, I think. I don't... See... Maybe. I've never... I don't go on boats that often. I, I just don't know. I think they were actually talking about it, and we just completely skipped it. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Oh well. Here you go, Liam. Here's something for you to do. 
go back through and just cut out the text if they bring if they talk about anything specific. Oh my god. <laughs> Good. Uh, what an what an edit you'll have to do there. <laughs> you really made the choice to just lay down a challenge to your future self. Absolutely. Oh man, your future self's just gonna. Oh, he's gonna be punching hey. the air. Nah, I'll probably be sitting there going, "Great." You'll be wrapped up I in your little this. blanket cocoon. You'll just nestle over to the monitor. You'll be like, "Huh." Good joke. <laughs> You'll just keep <laughs> editing. Yep. Yo, Zoro and those three oh, earrings. Oh, Zoro. I need those three yeah. earrings, bro. Or at least one of them. I, I can't see you having earrings. I have them. You have earrings? I do. <laughs> I've worn earrings. You see me in earrings. I guess I just never actively paid attention to them. Ah, oh, that hurts. That hurts. I'm not a huge fan of piercings. Tattoos. I'm fine with tattoos. Piercings, I'm not a huge fan of. I just really, I can tolerate the ear piercings. The nose, pier- the nose piercings, I, I don't, I'm not really a fan of. Lip piercing, not really a fan of. I guess I'm just uh, basic. Just the classic, so. the classic ear piercings. I like jewelry though, you know, like, you know, rings, necklaces, all that stuff, bracelets, that stuff yeah. is... Those are good. Legit. Dope. Yo, what are these people doing? Oh, Hell Mopo. My boy, Hell Mopo. Hang in there. Wait, did they get picked up already? This is a uh, flashback to when they first arrived. Gotcha. Because we've never seen them yet. Oh, that's right. That's exactly what happened. We just saw an image of that at the newspaper. And then they where faded. Kobe, yeah, they were. They just finished beating the crap out of their dad or letting their dad escape. I, I love crap. how you actually, <laughs> in this timeline, Hellmeppo and Kobe beat the crap out of, what's his <laughs> name? Iron Jaw, like, whatever his name was. Like, dude. Axe Hand Morgan. Axe Hand Morgan. Yep. Imagine these two string beans laying the hands on X Morgan. <laughs> I can see Kobe doing that. Look at his face. He's ready to punch. He's, he's determined. He's ready to knock somebody out. Kobe's going to be king of the uh, the Marines. He's about to knock a bitch out, man. Watch out. Step up to get knocked up. Hit up. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I don't know either. Bro, I like how they're wearing scarves. Like, what, what are we doing here? They look like Boy Scouts. <laughs> they probably are. <laughs> nah, they're like the mock boys. He, how Meppo still looks like he's like 30 years old with like the a child-sized body. He's not supposed to be that old. He's like 16, right? I think so, yeah. I, th- I think he's 19. If we last checked, I believe. Uh, I'll put up on the screen right now how old Kobe, uh, how old uh, Helmepo is. And Kobe, why not? Sure. Boom, boom. Sink it with that, Liam. Good luck. <laughs> so much vinegar. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yo. Oh, I spoiled myself. What? I, I just saw what he looks like currently. Oh, you looked him up? I wanted to I wanted to see his age. He's 20. Oh, so he's 18. No, he's 20 right in the now. debut. Oh, 20 when we first saw him. Yeah, he's 20 right now. What we're, we're watching. He's 20? You know, honestly that makes sense. I look like a child. You're a child. That's a weird get... way to cut in. Did you see this? Yeah. Also, we need to get new... Uh, I don't have an Usopp one. <clears throat> and you never you will. You never gave me an Usopp one. And you never You're... will. God damn it. <laughs> you never will. But we'll but we will get a VV. To... I will bring a VV. You send me a VV. Yes, VV. And, uh... You know what, Liam? Hey, here's a challenge for you. At the end of this episode, pop in an Usopp transition. Don't you dare. (laughs) 
I'll be just like this girl. I will show up at your house <laughs> and just swing on you. <laughs> How would you get that? Then just say stupid. I will swing on you and say baka over and over. Damn. You need. You better be wearing a dress and red. <laughs> I almost spit out my drink. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm sorry, little girl. Oh, so sweet. That girl would be crying if she saw me in her dress and red shoes. <laughs> She'd be fearful, man. She'd be like, what the and heck? And you never saw him again. Actually, I don't think that's true. I think you actually do see this family again. I didn't even remember she was a part of the original family. <laughs> I thought she was a random girl. <laughs> Remember when uh, they were on like episode two, three? She gave uh, she gave um, Sanji, uh, not Sanji. Wow, she gave Zoro wow, Sanji <laughs> a, uh, a rice Sanji. ball filled with uh, salt. Sugar. No, it was salt. It was sugar. It was, it was salt. a rice ball filled with sugar it, because Zoro was like, "This is too sweet." Nah, it was really. Yeah. Oh, okay. Whoops. Liam, boom, gotcha. There's something else for you to do, Liam. I'm gonna laugh. It was actually salt. Because she said, I thought it was sugar. It's like, no, it was no, salt. No, I just said sugar. I, it's sugar. It's sugar. It's too much sugar. You know what? I'm, I'm looking this up right now. <laughs> Even though it's already appeared on the screen what it is. <laughs> Garp the Fist. I'm not fearful of a man named Garp. I think he's more of a, a fish than anything. Okay, so it's a rice ball. That is for sure. Hmm? God damn it, ads. Go away. <laughs> I don't care about your lingerie or your your athletic clothes from Walmart. Ugh. The finest place to shop. Walmart. This meant how Meppo's got the drip. Oh, Mr. Panda Man! Did you see his Did pajamas? You, I didn't... Oh, is Pajama Man on it? Yeah, P Pajama Man. <laughs> but yeah, Panda Man. There's also uh, Sanji's apron also has Panda Man on it. Oh, I thought it was like... Oh, really? Yep. Yeah, let me see. Let me see the, the gown, Helmeppo. Show him again. Oh, there's a chicken! Do you see the chicken on the bottom left of the lamp? I do. Oh, he took his gown off. Darn it. Yo, they're sneaking in a lot of stuff in this scene. This is a good Yeah, line. she used... Okay, here it is. He eats one of Rika's rice balls. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, at the moment, the snobbish Helmeppo son, Captain Morgan, arrives with several marine soldiers. He eats one of Rika's rice balls and says, It's disgusting, since she used sugar instead of salt, and he stomps on. Oh, I got it backwards. And has her thrown out. You got it right. I was backwards. I was wrong. Hell yeah. Vindicated. Liam, you still have to put that in. You still have to put that in. <laughs> Future Liam's like, ah, oh, sweet, I'm off the hook. Nope, never mind. Yep. I probably <laughs> won't even remember us recording this, and then I'll be listening back to this, and I'll be like, wow, I'm an asshole to myself. Oh, look at Kobe. Oh, oh, oh. look at that face, Kobe. Look at that gradient. <laughs> They gave Helmeppo too many wrinkles for a 20 year old. Right. It's so bad. This man has aged badly. <laughs> Didn't have to do my boy also, Helmeppo like this. He lived he he lived rich. He shouldn't have looked this old. And you would think that they would have probably given Kobe a male voice actor, but Kobe is a female voice actor. Well, as a child, you have a really high pitched voice. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I know, but isn't Kobe, like, 18 or, like, 17 years old? Same age as Luke. What we're watching right now, Kobe's, like, 14. Really? Well, Luffy's... No. I thought Luffy was 
16, not 17. Damn, we always do this. We always talk about this. <laughs> we always talk about this. It always comes back to what age is the cast again? Like, damn. You think at one point we'll just understand the age. Oh, he's 16. No, he's 16. He he ages so hard. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, so Luffy's one year older than him. He's seven. Oh my goodness, Colby. What the? What? What? Can I get this workout regime? I mean, you're seeing it right now. Are we seeing it? So wait, Colby's 16? Each. Nee. Yeah, Colby's 16. So Helmepo's four years older than him. Damn. I don't know how I feel about that. Hell, Meppel's potential is, war- is is less than Colby's, basically. Yep. He already looks like he's aged. Well, he's assuming the... I don't even know what I'm saying. He looks like he a delinquent. Like he looks like yeah, a delinquent because of the, the squat. Well, they're pulling grass. They're, they're mowing the lawn. Imagine mowing the lawn like this. Right. Ugh, that Meppel just put his dirt-soiled hands right up Colby's mouth. Ugh. I would be having words. Yo, he's got this. He got the salt going now. His Kobe's face has changed. Well, when he takes his glasses off. Well, no, his face used to be a little bit like longer and kind of more ovally, but it's kind of circular now. Isn't circular meaning he's resolved back to a baby? No, his shape, his face is just shaping better. He no longer has like a double chin. Going. But I thought when you get older, your face loses the roundness. I don't know. What is this backdrop? I don't know. <laughs> They're the scare of scarecrows. That's not true. What about the other guy? Ah, so he's already a liar. Yeah. You can't trust him anymore. He's already lied once. Oh, Helmepo. You're stop acting him? like an stop acting like a hero. You're Hell really Meppo. just mm. My boy. My yeah, boy. Look at this chin. Get it out of here. Look at this man. My boy. How dare you mock the crimson anime chin? If it was a crimson chin, it would want to be My boys! Potent. My boys! Here we go! Here we go! Oh. <laughs> wow. Mm, mm. Sorry, it is not that type of show. <laughs> it got me riled up for a sec. <laughs> Ooh, my boy! They got a, both got a punch in. Okay, you're an asshole. This dog is an asshole. Garp? Stop being a fish. Garp is a fish name. This ain't right. Oh, that ain't right. You're old. You're not supposed to do this. Make way for the young, damn it. Yeah, there we go. Give him the pose. Give him the pose, Colby. Mm -hmm. Oh. Hell, Meppo, my boy. Plot armor. Jojo. <laughs> Menacing. Get him. Ooh. Ooh. Yo, that reminds me of the whole Deco Bakugo final scene in that movie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Put an image on the screen, Leo. No. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to go that far because that's that could be seen as spoilers. A movie? Yes. That, okay. It never Basically. gets referred back to in the story at all. So it's a movie. People get pretty toxic about that type of stuff. 
Okay. Hey, man, you're the one who's involved in the fandom, not me. I'll probably still put it up anyways. Liam, now you're screwed. Now you have to do it. I don't I don't care about my hero like that. So I'll let Liam have his discretion. When I um when I got the uh first vaccine, um and I was in the uh the hospital talking to one of the um, the nurses, she's a my hero she was a my hero academia fan and she was like, Oh, I see that uh you like my hero academia. I'm like, Yeah, it's it's, it's a good show. And she's like, Oh, I really love this this ship and i'm like great i don't because it's just not what the author wanted so i would rather not go with the ship and just go with what's actually there and she got really upset good job liam making your nurse upset at you well what do you really want to be like dead in like five minutes <laughs> you know like those nurses <laughs> yeah they, they could really knock some shit they, they she was really nice about it but she got she got she she started fighting back with like in an argument i was like no this is how the story is supposed to go so this is how it is so you can't deny it damn liam you must be great at parties <laughs> i don't go to, i don't go to parties that's why <laughs> Just start, just start fights <laughs> with logic. I will beat you with logic. You know, in elementary school, I did do a one v do like a one v five. I think it was one v one. Oh, v, this story. One v five, and I and I came you out on to top. Have to be recorded, huh? I'm just saying that part. I don't need to go any further. I gotcha. came out on top. You came out on top. How za- How how was? Uh, Sanji was sleeping right there. Just think about it reverse. Like his arm, like his hands kind of like would be punching him. Off topic. Had nothing to do. Great. Thank you. Transition. 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 Okay. Hi, guys. So, believe it or not. I tried to start it a little earlier, but he didn't agree with that. So now we're starting here. Yeah, Reftalia <sighs> has the final say. Jeez. Shanks, get off my screen. This is a good song. Oh, I had opening. This 12. reminds me. Huh? You so you apparently the whole first opening has Panda Man in the uh, opening and yeah it does we watch that opening every episode because we have never to, noticed because that's that's when we banter the most is during the opening sequence we yep. always skipped over noticing that Panda Man was in the first opening well. So I was originally going to name one of the title, one of the episodes in uh, Logtown, since I technically already passed it. But I was going to name one of the, the the titles, like, Panda Man, Guessing the Panda Man. And I was like, I wonder when we started seeing that, because I'm starting to edit Logtown. And I was like, I wonder if he was in this episode. So I went back through, and I was like, you know what, let's just look up what episodes Panda Man were in, was in, and see if, you know, it lines up with the three episodes that I'm editing right now. And... It did not line up with the three episodes of editing, so I was like, oh, okay. And I saw a line that said, he's also in the first opening and the fourth opening. And I was like, what? What? Spoiler for the fourth opening. I guess so, if you can spot him. Where's Waldo? Where is Waldo? Oh, they did. Oh, that's also another thing. On one of the newest, newer chapters of My Hero, uh, My Hero, uh, for the newer chapters of One Piece, they actually did a um, Where is Waldo for Luffy. Okay. And it's like a full blown thing of the current arc of One Piece, and I think you have to spot um, either it's Luffy or Waldo, but it's kind of cool. When you post the screen on the don't do that because that's spoilers. That was a jumble. Jeez. There's seven magnetic forces. What? Could you imagine there different... being seven different forces of magnetism? 
be really weird. And that's because there's different paths that you can take in the Grand Line. But typically, there's only four cardinal directions. Yep. So there's like three extra Well, you have, you have the cardinal directions that would normally be on Earth. And then you have the Grand Line. The Grand Line has its own magnetic poles. Mm-hmm. It's just a lot. Yeah. You know what's funny to me? That drink is going to be a major staple in Kadu's character design. Oh, right there, the the. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he loves this so much; they just give him so much of it, and they just randomly start pulling the glasses out of nowhere. But also, don't they put that drink in his little barrel thing around his neck too? I think so. Yeah, <laughs> it's so cute. Why is Vivi upset? Because she wants him to take it seriously. She's worried about the grant about the um, the path. Oh, you gotta have fun. You can't just always be stressed out. Yep, you are. <laughs> <laughs> That's you are. You'll get uh, wrinkles, BB. Don't sweat it. Also, this is such a pirate thing to do. Just goof around. Absolutely. Just have fun. Pirates never take stuff seriously. Dolphins? <laughs> Dolphins. I never thought a dolphin looked cute. That's just me. Have you seen their teeth? Yeah, they're vicious looking things. They look like freaks, man. I've never thought a dolphin was cute. There was a, a creature that uh, recently came up on shore that looked like a dolphin from uh, the distance, but when you got close to it, it had no fins and it had no eyes. Liam, can you please stop making me have nightmares? I'll, put a, I'll post a picture up on screen. I hate no. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> of this creature. No. It recently... Oh, same with, like, a, a glass octopus. Bro, these animals are coming from hell. They, well, we're now... We're... We're spotting... We're, we're finding new creatures. There's probably all sorts of strange creatures below us right now. Because they, they found that there. there's... Yeah, they, they found that, like, in between the different layers of Earth, that there's a whole ocean layer that is just underneath the crust. And they, should, and they can stay there. I don't want to see these freaks of nature. Well, a lot of people, a lot of other people do. But I'll do you a big one and I'll post a picture of the current creature. The how, glass octopus you know, and how about, that, uh, how, how dolphin. About, how about you just, you know, take diving lessons, go down and see them for yourself, and never bring them up here, ever. The pictures or the... Uh, yeah, pictures? yeah, Liam, take the pictures <laughs> underwater. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's how you would get the pictures, though. Exactly. Oh boy. You know, I ain't gonna lie. This little section of the story gets kind of stale after a couple times of watching. What, them find? Oh, yeah, because you've seen this arc so many times. Like a lot. I keep trying to leave and it pulls me right back. We'll get past it. It's just like, what, 100 episodes? <laughs> Pass it like a bad kidney stone. Yep. Our second island in the Grand Line. Oh, <laughs> boy. Oh, gotcha. Good. I found out how to mute myself in OBS, and um, I can't do that in Audacity. I could, actually. It's at the top. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> oh, these two. Oh, boy. Mr. 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 I almost said his name, but it's very obvious. Wait, Mr. what? 
You shouldn't even know what they're about yet, Liam. <laughs> what do you mean I should know what they're about? I've seen this show like four or five times. Too many oh, times. Oh, I guess you just started calling him Mr. Three. Oh, okay. Well, it's kind of hard to hide it when you have a giant three. No, but like she legit said Mr. Three before you even said anything. Yeah. How old is this girl? Six? I th- no. Is she supposed to be like the adult or something? Uh, yeah, she's Mrs. Uh... Oh, Panda Man! Panda Man! Panda Man! Do you see him? The right side, right side. Oh my god, he looks like a popsicle. Oh, there he is right there in the middle of the screen! This man is quick step. Oh, left side, left side, left side! Oh, he's a girl now. They're just <laughs> warping him around. Oh my god, he's everywhere. Yo, they made him for lost time. They were like, oh, he hasn't been here for like... He's, he's back there again. Same, same image. <laughs> oh my god. The plot doesn't matter. He, he showed up on screen. Panda man. Bruh, they were, they were literally Panda like, man. oh... We haven't shown him in like twenty some episodes. Let's just cram them all in one scene. Yep. You really can miss him. Like, damn, bro, calm down. Ain't that serious? Yeah. What What was that girl's name? It's not um. Uh, is it Miss Monday? No, no, it's not. Miss Tuesday? Miss Thursday? I don't know. All Sunday. Nope, that's... That's her. Oh, did you know Miss Valentine has an actual name? Really? What is it? Nikita. Oh. Oh man, this girl. This woman is nice. She's a snack. My god. Thank you, they don't really have a time schedule going right now. They're just kind of going still. Well, they just know that they need to try and get to um, Alabasta. Alabasta as quick as possible. But they're kind of restricted to how long it takes for the log post to reset. Mm-hmm. What the heck? Sorry. <laughs> Ooh, big bird. Sanji about to get snatched up. Bye, Sanji. We hardly knew you. No heads They're up or nothing, huh? Just let him out the dry. But, like, you think Nami or Usa would have said behind you? No. Nah. I mean, they did react to it already. But they didn't say behind you, like a good friend. I love the faces in One Piece. They're just very, like, over-exaggerated. Also, I hope that doesn't go away. One Piece transitions. There's Luffy. Uh, It doesn't go away. You mean Sanji? Uh, and Usopp, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this man just said, there's Luffy. <laughs> it's like, oh, Luffy, <laughs> Luffy smokes, huh? Good to know. Yep. <laughs> oh, what up, Tiger? Is his life a pie? Wow, that was blood. What the heck? Uh, if only you got my reference. I've seen Life of Pie, yeah. The boat. The tiger on the boat. I really don't like that book. The movie's good. Yeah, but you can't watch a movie and pass the English test for that book. (laughs) 
Also, I had to read that book before the movie came out, so I never had that luxury. Damn. I never had to write anything on it. English, you know, sometimes it always goes back to education, people. And that yeah. it is just a complete waste when you have all of these people just saying, hey, you know what to be really good? Literature. And everybody we're just going to pick the same books for everyone to read over three decades. Like literally, I'm sure there's, you can literally talk to people who are probably like in their forties or whatever. And you'll ask them, what books you read in English? You probably have a couple crossovers from when they read a book to what you had to read. And that's a yep. problem. That's a big problem. Did you read Grapes of Wrath? No, but I'm sure that was like a Shakespeare stuff, huh? It sounds Shakespeare. I believe Grapes of Wrath was a story about two farm two farm boys, one having a uh, mental disability and the other one being fine. They're trying to survive and find a job and make money, and um, it's kind of a sad story at the end. I mean, like the main character has to. I mean, it's an old book. I don't know if you read it or not. The main character has to kill his his brother at the end. Did I read this book? I did not read this book. I believe it's called Grapes of Wrath. Could very be wrong. Grapes. I could care less about the books I read in English because they were all terrible. And in, yeah. none of those books taught me anything. Like, I was already a pretty smart kid. Those books did nothing to improve my intelligence. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then there was another book that we read. I don't remember what it was called at all, but it was like, what would the world be like if books were illegal? If reading was illegal? So, I mean, that's kind just of, essentially the whole conversation of the elites learn education and literature and the poor doesn't that was a whole thing about as soon as of a bookworm yep she came from a poor family who couldn't read reading was for the elite, elite. the wealthy so look at the handguard on zoro's sword is huge i learned so much more from anime and manga than these classic lit novels like no offense but english authors are kind of basic Um, what was it? There was also another book that we had to read about a um, a wealthy guy who bought an island and he stole citizens, regular like civilians, poor people, and specifically poor civilians, and put them on an island and he hunted them down. I know they made a movie about that called The Hunt, but this was a book that was where the guy had been doing, it was like generations in the family had been stealing people and then hunting them down. That's dark. We had to we had to read that for a, a story uh, in school. You see what I mean? We don't need two characters to act like this. Exactly. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. You'll get there eventually. I know I will. Usopp has to take the, the problem there. Nami will raise to the occasion and leave. Raise the occasion, huh? She would just raise it like a like, like a limbo bar. Yep. Do <laughs> uh, you see? Uh, uh, you know, I talk a lot of shit about English class, but uh, hey, I can read and write, and I can speak. It's just the books were really bad. I mean, I gained so much from it. I can read and write, kind of. Uh, however, I'm not the best at. Um, talking it's because you know like 500 different languages Leo. i know 500 different languages you know five i know five languages yeah you know five languages i know five languages you absolutely know five languages so you I get tongue tied a lot sign language a little bit of japanese english i grew up with a, I think it was like a Vietnamese or a Korean family across the street, so I hung out with them a lot, so I know a little bit of that. 
or at least that's stuck in my vocabulary a little bit, apparently. And I'm guessing know. Spanish? I don't know Spanish. You never took a Spanish class? No. I took sign language instead. Oh, okay. Because I, I, there's a lot of, I know Spanish is like another one of those like massively used languages. However, um, I like the idea of being able to have communication with somebody that you people, that you people, that people normally wouldn't be able to have a conversation <laughs> with. You people. My grammar is really good right now. I speak good. I speak good English. Hey, so Great Mr. Grammar. Three's uh, partner. Uh huh. Her name's Miss Golden Week. Oh, okay. Guess how old she is. 14? She's 16. Oh, okay. She's 4 and 9. That's a pretty good height. I don't even know if that's good height, to be honest. I have no idea. I don't remember the average height for females. Do you want to know her real name? Sure. Marianne. Yeah, I see that. She's like, um, she's like no expression for her face. This man thinks it's like a field trip. <laughs> Everything is a field trip to him. <laughs> and, uh, Vivi's like, uh, his, um, babysitter. <laughs> yep. Kick him, kill him. Imagine dying from a kick. As a dinosaur, what a way to go. <laughs> yep. Hello? Did he just like, did, was that even the jump? Oh my goodness. Damn. And you can't go That's back to your strong. dinosaur friends after this. No, you're dying. You might as well just lay down and just say that you did. Meanwhile, Mr. Rhino. This man did not just say three sword to her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he just said, uh, it's more like a three horned style. Zoro. Oh my god. Really? At least that's more believable. You got cut to death. I mean, you know, it's better than being kicked. Yeah, but the, they did that thing where like two sword fighters clash with each other. Listen, so you man, think... what do you want them to do? Have an animation of Zoro weaving around a fat rhinoceros? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Bro, can you believe we're almost done with this episode too? What the? Yeah. And this is our first look at that. 21, epi- 21 minutes in. Bum, 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 bum. Uh oh, that face, that animate, the frames. Oh, is that Ho Oh from Pokemon? <laughs> Maybe. That means good luck. Oh. Oh, my subtitles just disappeared. That's nice. Mine did too. Oh, now they're back. Yeah, Verve. Good job. Way to, way to always let me down. Who's this? Is this a new voice actor? That's the author's voice of the book that Nami just dropped. Ah. Great. Yeah, it's a island of giants. A new outro. Destiny. Fate. Dreams. I hope someone collects all the times you say that quote and puts it in a compilation for us. What? The destiny. Fate. Yes. Which you said it backwards just now, but okay. Fate goes before destiny. I don't... So bright, so bold, and so... Oh, I guess that's that's the question, Liam. Are we going to watch the openings in English or Japanese? 
for our uh, reaction. We'll just watch. I think we'll watch in Japanese. I'm okay. really, really stuck on you. Whoa. Because they go to English anyways. It's only like four openings in English. Oh, really? Yeah. That's a bummer. I understand, though. Yeah, it takes a lot of money to redo the song, to redo the lyrics for these songs. Mm -hmm. Also, I, I understand because back in the day, they were worried that Western audience didn't like the Japanese stuff. So they Americanized so much. Yeah. Then they realized, oh, Americans can adapt? Who knew? <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's like almost as if watching a show is fine. We thought we thought Americans were just like, oh, America, you you don't you don't tell us nothing. Yeah, it's like no man. Westerners can adapt if they want to. We can read if we want to. We can if we wanted to. We're not that lazy. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, Usopp, clean your eyes, boy. You're good. It's nothing but a flesh wound. It is but a flesh wound. Nami, I'm sorry. You need a hug. Oh, I'm not hugging you like that. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine if these giants just flat out said, I ate the big, big fruit or something, and that's why they got that big? <laughs> like, if they were just normal people. And they just ate that double, double fruit. That'd be interesting. Plot twist. <laughs> They'd just be called liars. <laughs> yeah. Bruh, his nose hairs must be legendary. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Bruh, his nose is his nose is for, it's starting to freak me out. Nami scream, whoa. Reach deep for that. Damn. Tis, tis but a flesh wound. Ooh, ooh. Show it, ooh. They didn't show Damn. it. Damn, they didn't show it, yeah. No balls, no balls didn't show it. I mean, there's the head. What a clean cut, no blood or nothing. Oh, I just I didn't realize that they were actually doing the same voice as the uh the giant. And there goes oh Usopp's God. intestines. <laughs> right. Popped like a balloon. Y you know what's funny? Broggy could legit pick up that ship and just long toss it. And just Easily. see see where they could land, honestly. Oh my god, Kadu. I mean, the ship will be demolished, but still. You know, I saw a couple of... Vi uh, I saw a video that made a really good point when it comes to dinosaurs. If you look at a hippo... And you see how it has like fluffy, fluffy cheeks and stuff, uh, or like poofy, or like kind of like chubby cheeks uh, for the head. And then you look at the fossil of the head of a, of a hippo, and you notice that like the cheeks actually have like it looks like tusks um, instead. So like if you were to mimic that in like a machine, and you didn't see what the hippo looked like originally, you would think it would be more like what we're seeing right now with these dinosaurs. They're very, like, skin to bone. But when you actually look at a hippo, there's a lot more fat and a lot more dimension to them. And they look a lot more, you know, what we've normally seen. So a lot of people nowadays see, maybe the dinosaur doesn't even look like, or like a T-Rex doesn't even look like a proper T-Rex. Like how we've seen it all this time. Maybe it was actually like a bird. With, like, fluffy feathers and stuff. Mm. Yeah, because there's, there's only so much we can uncover with bones alone yep yeah a lot of what makes something is their fat composition 
Oh, and I think we also found a really well preserved uh, human body as well from like the early ages, and our jaws were tiny, tiny, tiny. So, like, there's that as well. It's, like, the complete opposite of what you would think. Huh. I wonder what that's from. Well, I guess maybe, um... Just how... What we eat. Yeah. Hey, Liam, if you find a picture of that, post it on screen of what the... the that human looks like. You know, that would be a really cool class if they made in high school when it comes to, like paleontology or like the study of the humans from earlier timelines instead of what they do now which in like an actual history class that covers <laughs> yeah. history instead of just hey you know we had these big wars in the past don't do them don't don't it's replicate like, it it's like hey you know the stuff that we've done in current civilization let's just keep hammering you over the head with that instead of talking about stuff that you would have no chance of even like talking about or thinking of doing it's like hey let's talk let's let's literally have a class where we do nothing but theorize about dinosaur age about the age of the egyptians about you know and like not have it just be solely on political but address you know the psychological necessities of these civilizations how about you know, the character dynamics of family and what that would mean to civilization back then. And then write a report of like, how could that fluctuate in today's time? And what are the factors that leads to that? Is it because yeah. of how connected we are that we view family ties differently? Or is that connection easily able to be achieved back then because they lived in close knit groups in the first place? I don't know. Yep. It's like, I'm just spitballing here. And I don't even have a PhD in any of this stuff. So I, I feel like, come on, teacher, do something better. I think a lot of that stuff, like the Egyptians, talking about like the past and like the Romes, and, and that's all of that stuff is normally in like elementary school that you talk about that. Or like, what early school did you school. go to? Rich. Oh my God. The elementary school that I went to. Anyways, like our history class was talking about was talking about and studying Egyptian culture. Never, I never even had history in, in elementary school. Well, it was kind of just a topic that we talked about. It wasn't like a history class. It was just a topic that we talked about. It was like these are the Egyptian gods, and this is what they stood for. Let's write a let's do a project on this where you make a slideshow researching these these specific gods. You choose Bruh. what you want to do. What school did you go to? I, I wish I could say it on on recording. I know, I know. It's just a, <laughs> it's a choice of words, but like, bruh, that just shows you you really are younger than me because they're starting to make these kids go through hoops in school for no reason. I'm like, it. That's a cool thing to do, but not to a toddler. You know, I don't remember anything from elementary school. Yep. But it was, I mean, it was cool at the time, talking, learning about, like, the different Do you remember? Um, I don't remember, but I think I, I definitely did one of the gods of death. Uh, but we talked about, like, Ra and Artemis. Kid Liam talking totally about the things. god of death. Wow. Um, I think I just liked the god of death because he looked like a bird. It was, it was kind of interesting uh, doing the slideshows and presentations and stuff like that. Uh, As an elementary school. school kid, wow. Yep. Nami's just laying prone. And then in middle school, we talked more about the laws of the world. And then in high school, we talked about basically everything else that's going on in the world. And like what created American history and how that all evolved in current times and the 1900s, 1800s, so on and so forth. That was more in high school. The less I talk about them, the less I talk about America, the more interested I become. Like real time. Right. I could care less about my country's history. I want to hear about what how the other parts of the world have done because they're older than us. I'd rather hear about them. Yep. Because a lot of their history can tie into what people are doing nowadays. 
with our current history and involving our current worlds right now. The only thing America does is repeat mistakes already have done in other parts of the world at different I, times. I feel like that's because we emphasize and like heavily focus on that in schools. And so like when coming up with or when talking about different types of topics or different types of subjects uh, when it comes to more political standings, that is like the first things that we like retaliate to. That's why I personally feel like a lot of people are very sensitive towards uh, a lot of past issues with America. And they still bring that up now is because that's heavily emphasized. Like you have an entire year well, at least in my school, an entire year where you focus practically on the 1900s and slavery. Mm -hmm. So it's like those types of words are going to be brought up because kids are going to make fun of that. There is no doubt about that. Also, dinosaurs are rampaging and chasing after Usopp and Nami. So I don't know why we got off topic. A saber tooth. Huh? One piece. Yo, this is this is Ice Age in a movie by DreamWorks. If you made it far into this video and you want to talk more about this subject, please bring it up in the comments down below. It's it's interesting to talk about like Egyptian uh, lore and uh, kind of like current day topics with schools involving like history specifically. So leave it down in the description down below if you even want to talk about it or you even got this far. That'd be awesome. Or like and subscribe. That'd be fantastic. I love talking about the Adrestian Empire. In the holy kingdom of Farkas. Also, don't forget about the imagine if, lions. Imagine if meat actually came out like that when you when you cooked something or, or killed something. It doesn't even look like it's meat. It looks like it's just fat. Yeah. It looks like it's just glistening fat. Like, like it'll be just too chewy, you know? It's like they're eating a leg. It'll be too chewy to me. These two are so scared. For what reason? He hasn't shown any hostility, by the way. Yeah. You know? That's actually... Oh. What? What's up? Uh, No, mine's very off topic. What about you? No, nah, go ahead, though. I keep cutting you off. No, I keep cutting you off lately. Today, especially. I was just going to say, they're just jumping to conclusions, and that's not right. You teach kids all the time. Don't jump to, to conclusions and look what they're doing. Jumping to conclusions. They're also in a different time period than us. Yeah, this is the same time period where kids could willingly talk and hang out for an afternoon with pirates and their parents aren't even freaking out asking, where's my kid? Where are they? They're just chilling with Nami, Usopp, Zoro, just chilling. Oh, not Usopp, but y you know what I mean. Wow. Th they were. They I were could so see myself hanging out with Usopp. They were so little and they were just like, oh, we just met you guys earlier today. Oh, you're pirates. It's okay. We'll just hang out with you. Like, what? Well, they look like kids, so we'll hang out with them. Also, Luffy's sitting was, on the meat. Yeah, I know. I, that was something that popped in my head, too. Uh, do you like to eat the fat on, like, a steak or something? Hell no. I hate it. I hate fat so much. Same. I pick off the fat constantly, man. It's to the point now where a lot of the times if I like eat like meat food, you know, like steaks and stuff, I really prefer like the boneless strips because that has like the most amount of meat and like not as much fat. Cause like, yeah. I feel like the fat comes from it being on the bone still and like all that stuff still being connected. That's why it's like, I like baby back ribs more than like the natural boring ribs. Because the natural boring ribs, it's like 50% fat. I'm just sitting here like, what are you eating? Like, how can you even eat it? Whoa, did you see that, by the way? The meat was just sliding across the ground. Ah, quality animation. Quality animation. Someone forgot to hanker down those keyframes. Imagine playing D&D &D 
and you're playing a giant like these guys. And you're just a part of a partying group, or uh, a party of, of regular humans. It's like, you are out of place. You will not enter that cave. Well, it'd be terrible for the DM, because the guy would just be saying, Hey, all my guys are going to that cave. Can I just roll to like crush the cave? <laughs> yeah. Let me just roll for initiative. Let me just stomp out this cave real quick. It's like, the DM's just sitting there like, I spent a week on this cave. I will not allow you to destroy it. <laughs> eh, I'd never spend a week on a cave, necessarily. That's always like a couple of hours. Spoken like a true master DM. But you also, you never want to like put so much work into something to where if, like a player were to explore it and do something different. You never want that to like affect your, your story building. Because if you do that, then obviously you're ruining the story for your players. I'm rambling and like my mind's just going. I don't even know if like I'm creating a coherent sentence. One Piece. <laughs> I love when these two bicker, man. It's funny. Yeah. They act like uh, brothers. They kind of do. They're just going to leave those food there, or are they going to bring it back to the boat, too? Uh, they just said they're going to bring it back. No, no, those two, though? I have no idea. That's a lot of food that they bring that, plus the other stuff they catch. There has eyes. Oh my god, his eyes is white, too. What the heck? Transform. I have awakened. I have awakened. Ooh, it's that song. Things are going down. The bell finally tolls. Also, what a waste of meat. He just chucked it into the fire. Yeah. Bruh, his... I'm not even gonna... No, I'm not even gonna go there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not even gonna go there. Bro. These... These people need to close their mouths, bro. <laughs> they just never stop. Their mouths are just constantly open, bro. I think, my job. Actually, I think there is a point in time where the anime makes fun of that and just has like a couple of flies flying into their mouth. It makes my jaw hurt, man. It's rough. Can you make your jaw drop all the way down to the ground? My TMJ is breaking, just <laughs> imagining it. <laughs> You would think with this much moving that there would not be a forest there. What kind of they... Susano Naruto ass <laughs> animation was that? Especially if they've been doing that for a hundred years. I don't know, man. I haven't actually heard of. Uh, uh, listen, bro. They're gentle giants. They don't destroy nature. They move around it. Sure. With the way that that guy was gliding, he was the both of them were gliding through the forest, like crashing into trees. Oh, bye, Luffy. Hello? Hello. He claps onto the ground, like you just said. Goodbye, Luffy. Oh, my God. Things are happening. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Oh, you stupid. Ah! Nah, 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 nah. Oh, the girl from Dragon Ball is here. <laughs> I oh, already forgot dinosaur. what her name is. What? Did you see? She blipped off the screen. <laughs> did you see that? Oh my that? god, I did. She blipped off the screen and came down like a cannonball. Her name's like uh, Malika? Ma Ma Matika? Lemon? Hey, we got a man, Ma Marianne? There you go. <laughs> Marianne and Matita. I'm I'm messing up her name. Boom, 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 boom. Miss Valentine. Nah, her real name. Oh. 
I don't know where Ronan is. Makita. I was right. It is Makita. Mm. Oh, we're hunting them down. I forgot about this. Guess how old Ms. Valentine is. 24. Ooh. She's 22 right now. Ah, oh, so close. Wow, that means she's only a year older than me. What a I woman. Could go for, I could go for her. What a woman. She's great. It's really just turned into, guess the age of One Piece characters. <laughs> How old is Mr. Three? Uh, and you know what's funny? This game will go on forever. <laughs> yeah, we'll have so many characters to talk about. How old is Mr. Three? I'm, I'm checking. Oh, do you want to know his real name? Sure. Galdino. Mm. That's, that's a much better name than Mr. Three. He should absolutely be calling himself Galdino. Yeah. He's also 35. He's an old head. I guess he's 35, though. He looks better than Helmeppo at 35. Helmeppo's, he gotta get better. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, end it off, Liam. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys for watching. For anyone watching. who cares, it's 1230 in the morning. Yeah. So, uh, and I have mercy on us. A whole lot. I have not eaten a whole lot today. I, I haven't even had a thousand calories worth of food today. That is not safe. No, it's not. So we are going to get off and end this episode so Liam can keep existing. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Um, we'll see you next week, like always. See, hope. Well, I mean, next week. Yeah. Why? Why, why do you do this to yourself, Liam? I don't know. <laughs> good night, guys. No, not Bye. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> God damn it. Uh.